so obviously um, everybody has heard by now what took place in Orlando um, over the weekend and it is very heartbreaking and there's just simply no words for it um, people are posting right now the on Facebook or social media um, really posting a lot of the um, pride you know flag rainbow this and, and all of that and this is not directed at my thoughts of you know gay rights and all of that that's not what this is about um, why are we so quick right now to be posting a flag like the pride flag or you know all of that we need to be posting and sharing the American flag um, these people were humans they were Americans they were they were us I don't care if they were gay um, Jewish um, Christian whatever and maybe not everybody that was in that nightclub was gay maybe um, also the the officers that were killed we don't know their background we don't know their story but we, what we do know is that all of these people, well, we can assume, were Americans. Um, now, granted, whether there were people being in Florida, I don't know if there were, you know, um, some other um, nationalities and everything in there. But the, the, besides that, though, these people were on American soil. This happened in our country. And I'm sorry, but posting and getting behind the agenda of this was, um, you know, an attack against gays and all that, and oh, it was a hate crime. Obviously, it was a hate crime. What crime is not done with hate? What crime is committed? You don't have a love crime? Because if there was a love crime and you had love, you wouldn't be committing the crime. Um, you hear crimes of passion. That's not love. That's not even... So, n all crime is hate crime. Because that's the heart that was in it. It was hatred against whatever it was. Whether it was against God's law. Whether it was against, um, you know, another person. It's all a hate crime. So, we need to be rising up and going beyond the who is being targeted in this we need to be going and after and hoping they find or go after the who did this and ultimately pray for them too i know we are quick to post about praying for the families of these people that were killed or injured we're quick to say we're praying for the families of the police officers who were involved how quick are you to pray for the family family of the shooter he died I know people can defend but you know what we don't know the whole story and he we need to be praying for the families in general that were part of this we need to be praying for the families of the people that are committing these crimes we need to be praying for the people who are committing these crimes because if we don't do you think anything is gonna get better we need to be praying for our enemies it's hard to do but we need to be praying for them praying I think honestly praying more for our enemies than we do for those that we love because it's easy to pray for someone we love. It's very difficult to pray for someone that we hate or that we um, are angry with. So I know um, I'm rambling here, but 
we can't be divided right now. So I, I challenge you to not get wrapped up in posting the pride flag or posting this or posting that. We're Americans. Post our flag. Post um, the pictures of the people who were killed or post the pictures of the family members or, you know, that's what we need to do. It's not an agenda right now. These things are happening at our schools. Children, women, blacks, whites, Christian, Jews, gays, straight, women in general. This isn't just one group. So stop making this thing about Orlando one specific set of people. And make it about our country that it was our country. It was our people. Regardless of where they they stand. So let's pray for all of these families. Let's pray for all of these people. And that's when things will begin to change. So I hope you have a wonderful day. And um, just keep on praying.